Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Pokemon Red Nuzlocke. Last week, we took on Erica's gym. And this week, well, we are heading into the game corner to make sure that we can clear them out in preparation for, well, some of the other things that are to come. Let's go ahead and move uh, Jake up into the front part of our party. And we'll want to move Charles back uh, so he doesn't get too overleveled. Now, there's a little bit of a problem that we're going to run into with the uh, next gym, but we've got a little ways to go before we have to deal with that. So let's go ahead and talk with or deal with this rocket trainer first. First up, we've got the Raticate. And who do we have? Jake. This is probably the best thing that we could have in the front of our party right now. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves a Mega Punch to take out this Raticate, especially if it hits. That's great. Oh, that didn't end up doing it. Well, we'll go ahead and tackle next. Defense is going to drop, but the Raticate is going to go down before it can really do a whole lot to us. Love having high physical defense here. It's very, very useful. Now we've got ourselves a Zubat, and if we hit it with a Rock Throw, especially after that missed Supersonic, that should be a one-shot for the uh, Zubat there, which is absolutely awesome. And Jake growing to level 27 in the process, which I absolutely appreciate and think is uh, great. All right, he's going to run away. We're going to push this button behind the poster and let's go ahead and make our way into this basement to start some of this rocket hideout now before we get too much further we're going to go ahead and switch evan into the primary slot so we can try and keep the team leveling as even as possible we're going to sneak behind this guy and come grab this item escape rope i think we've got a couple of those already and then let's get around that guy because I'm not eager to fight him just yet. Uh, but we are going to need to. So let's go ahead and knock that out right here. We need to pivot into another member of the team because of Eradicate or something that I am uh, not eager to deal with. Then we absolutely can. Now Hyper Fang shouldn't kill here initially. We're going to go ahead and get an Ember out first. And now is where I start to get a little concerned. But he got burned. I don't know if burn drops the attack Hyper Fang. Oh, that actually didn't do nearly as much as I expected it to. And then here comes Ember. I think it must drop the attack then, if that's the case. Oh, <laughs> that crit was not great. But that Ember is going to take it out. That's going to give us really, really good uh, levels there on to the Growlithe. And then we do definitely want to switch Jake in here. It's going to go for the Hyper Fang, but it's going to be resisted uh, pretty heartily by the uh, Jake, our Graveler here. There goes our Mega Punch, which not quite enough to take it out. But let's go ahead and hit the Tackle next. Again, not going to do a whole lot there. And uh, that was actually relatively straightforward. Let's go ahead and make our way uh, back up to the top. And we'll uh, heal up the team and then we'll continue our crawl through this uh, rocket dungeon. Alright, let's get this next grunt on this floor. I'd like to make through all of the grunts so we can then just make our way through the different puzzles and such. Uh, what do we have? You've got another two team members. Drowsy, and we are leading with Peter, our Nido King, which is not a uh, good thing to have in any way, shape, or form. We don't want to have Vipra in here. Um, honestly, Tanner is probably going to be our safest pivot because it's going to go for some sort of psychic type move. There's the confusion that I knew was coming because it saw a hearty hit on that let's go ahead and get a fury attack out so we can get hopefully a four shot sweep nope just uh hit us three times or hit him three times let's go ahead and peck to finish that out 
and then we'll see who else comes out to play. Peter going to level 27, that's pretty good. Uh, Machop, and this is just going to be best if we stay in and use Peck uh, to one-shot that Machop. Awesome. Great work there to get around the Rocket Grunt, and we should be able to do fairly well making our way into the lower levels of the hideout. Let's stick around the backside here. And I'm not going to make you sit through a lot of this floor puzzle because it is fairly monotonous. Uh, so I'm just going to show you the items as they come around. Okay, here's that first item out of here. A nugget, that's nice. We can turn around and sell that for some pretty decent money there. Then we'll want to come down here and pick up this item. Moonstone, which we already had one of those in our bag as well. Let's go ahead and pick up this item next, TM7. I don't know off the top of my head which one that is. It is Horn Drill. Uh, not the world's best move, but it could prove uh, to be useful in the right circumstances. Now let's go ahead and hit this next one so we can get over onto these tiles here. And then down here. That's going to send us into this back corner, which I think is what I want because there's some additional items. Super Potion, I definitely will take that. All right, here's our next Rocket Grunt after we picked up a couple of really nice items there. Let's see what this what this grunt has for us. It's probably just going to be a series of rats, if I had to guess. So let's go ahead and lead in with a horn attack. That should be a one-shot on the Rattata. Peter should really be able to steamroll through a lot of things, assuming that it's not a uh, psychic type, because he is very weak to that. Here comes... Oh, we're faster this time? Well, it quick attacked last time. It probably went for the Hyper Fang to get more damage, but uh, got out sped. Here comes our Horn Attack again. Now it's going to hit me with the Hyper Fang, I'm sure. Yep. But we're significantly higher. We have higher defenses, so I'm not overly worried about that. Poison Sting, probably not the best route to go just there in terms of damage, but it was really nice to get some additional... Uh, or some conservation of some of our other attacks there. Quick attack's not really going to do a whole lot to us. There is our horn attack to get through the remainder of that Rattata. And honestly, team doing pretty good here as we continue to make our way through this hideout. I think that there are some more items in here. Yes, there is up here in this top corner. Hyper Potion, that's great. And let's fight this grunt now and see where this leads us. All right, Grimer. Should be fairly straightforward here. Let's just hit that horn attack, which is going to be a one shot, probably because of that crit, in all honesty. And then here is a coughing. And hopefully we get more of the same. Did about half. Missed its smog, which I will definitely be appreciative of. Don't do that. Don't leave him within just inches of taking him out. Of course, it's not going to be very effective, but there was only a sliver of health there to do anyway. There's level 28 coming on to Peter. And another coughing coming out here. Let's go ahead and switch over to Jake. Give Jake a couple of levels here. Smog is going to hit, which shouldn't really do a whole lot, and it didn't. Here comes our Mega Punch. That's going to be a rolling strike, and still only did about half, which I'm not thrilled about, but we can do it again and take out the remainder of Coughing's health. Don't love that Mega Punch isn't uh, entirely accurate, but sometimes that's what you get to deal with. Let's rotate Jake into the front of the party and switch 
Peter towards the back. We should still be fairly safe to continue here uh, without needing to back out. So let's do just that. Nothing else that we needed to take care of there. And let's go ahead and battle this grunt next as we make our way down onto the lower levels of the rocket hideout. All right, here comes a Zubat. Great that we have Jake in the front of our party because we have a very efficient uh, answer to that. As long as he hits it, Leech Life is going to do next to nothing. And hit this rock throw. That's two in a row that you've missed now. We can't afford to keep doing that lest he hit us with a... Stop! He's going to hit us with a supersonic if you keep doing that. Hit your rock throw. Thank you. It's really not that much to ask. There goes uh, Jake's strikes. Let's go ahead and hit a Mega Punch here. The Rock Throw literally has more accuracy than Mega Punch. Last I checked, uh, Smog's going to do again next to nothing there. But of course we get poisoned from it, which is not entirely fun to have to deal with now. But we've got antidotes in our bag, so we should be fine. Let's go ahead and hit this Mega Punch, which hopefully will be the end of the Grimer, and it is. Uh, nice that we didn't end up taking any... Oh, there's still another one. Uh, let's go ahead and get this Rock Throw. Hit your Rock Throws, Jake! It's not that much to ask for, really. That's four Rock Throws that you have missed in this fight alone. Thank you. And that is a... Quick one and done of the Zubat, and now we've got the Raticate coming out. Let's hit this Mega Punch, please. Yeah, Quick Attack's not going to do anything. Jake, stop that. He's going to Hyper Fang next, or he's going to Quick Attack again because it gives him some more guaranteed damage. Thank you for hitting your Mega Punch. And thank you for being a one-shot takedown. Jake growing to level 28 there. That's always good to see. And... We're going to go ahead and uh, use one of the uh, answers specific to Generation 1. We can dig out of a building, which, you know, there's legal ram or not legal, uh, moral ramifications to that, I'm sure. But we'll heal up at the Pokemon Center and then make our way back down into the game corner basement. Okay, here is our next rocket grunt that we'll need to fight. Uh, I will continue to meddle in the affairs as I see fit. Thank you very much. Let's see what you have. Rattata starting off here. Vipra coming in the lead position, which should do fairly well. Let's go ahead and get that Poison Sting right off the bat. That's a critical hit. Didn't end up giving him the um, status, which is not my favorite. Here comes Eradicate. We're going to go ahead and dig here. Quick attack to get some initial damage in. Uh, but as long as we get that strike, we should be fine. It crit on me. I am faster at this point unless it uses quick attack. So I will take that as well. And we are immediately getting out of here with that drowsy in effect. Um, again, I think our best answer for these psychic types currently is Tanner. There goes the confusion because we knew that was uh, going to be targeted on him. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and get a fury attack unless you miss. And then it's going to confusion me again. Why are you critting? Why are you critting so many times? Okay. We can survive this. Hit four times, please. Only hits twice. Uh, let's go ahead and peck. I need drill peck realistically in order to get away from that. Vipra gaining some more experience and uh, we're doing okay, but I'm still going to, well, we should actually be okay to progress further here. Let's switch Evan into the primary spot and then let's head down these stairs. Yep, there's an item on this table. HP up. That's not the world's worst item by any means. Uh, 
Let's grab this. No more room for items. That's fun. So let's see if there's anything that we can use here. That's rest. I don't want to teach that to anyone at this point. Thunderbolt. Who can learn a Thunderbolt? Just Peter. Um, it probably wouldn't be the worst thing for him to know, but I'm still hesitant on wanting to teach that. Yes, let's see if we can teach Mega Drain to anyone. Vipra can learn it and Charles can learn it. I think we're going to hold off on that one as well. And Hyper or Horn Drill. I need to get rid of something if I want to pick up this item, though. Let's go ahead and use HP ups here, I guess. We'll go ahead and give that to Peter, because he's been a pretty good leader of the team thus far. And then let's also teach, or not teach, but give an HP up to Tanner. And then what's this? TM2, that's Razor Wind, so we're going to immediately get rid of that because it's not a great move. Toss, yes. But we've got room for the next item, whichever it ends up being. Ah, you are the man with the lift key. Okay. Coughing, I've dealt with worse. Evan, please work some magic here by uh, getting some damage in. Tackle, not going to do a whole lot. Ember's going to be a three-hit shot unless we get a crit there, which we did not. Evan going to land that last Ember. And then a Zubat coming out next, which I should still... Let's go ahead and bite here. Do we get the flinch? Nope. But Leech Life realistically isn't going to do a whole lot. Yeah. Not really anything. That's going to be all of that, which we needed to have room in our bag anyway for this lift key. And there is our lift key. Cool. Now let's go ahead and do what we did before. Let's dig out of this basement and make our way out of the hideout so we can heal up the team. All right, we are here in the boss's office now. Uh, let's go ahead and combat with these two grunts and then make our way into, well, we'll probably back out, heal up, and then go back into Giovanni's office. Sand Shrew. Uh, Evan is not a good person to have in the lead spot here. So let's go ahead and pivot over to Vipra. Vipra should do pretty well here, assuming we actually get to hit our moves now. Oh, critical hit there. Bite twice in a row. Ah, oh, that's two accuracy drops. Just hit your bite, Vipra. Come on. Come on. Just hit it. That's all I need. Thank you. And where was that critical hit the last time to avoid more accuracy drops? Uh, now let's pivot back over to Evan. Don't get poisoned here. Thank you. Let's go ahead and continue our onslaught of bites. It's going to bite me right back. That's fine. We're faster, so that's going to take out the Ekans. And then Sand Slash. Again, not a good one to have in here. Uh, let's go ahead and pivot over to Vipra. It's going to use Sand Attack or not. It's going to use Scratch. Uh, let's go ahead and Bite here. Ooh, that's not particularly great. That's a nice crit, though. And it crit me right back. I can live through one more of those. Flinch? Nope. 
But as long as I hit this, which I should because I don't have any accuracy drop, we're going to be fine. Vipra gaining more experience there. And now we just need to not pivot into Vipra and we'll be fine. Um, so let's go ahead and take on this other grunt. Oh, you don't attack me when I just walk in front of you. I have to actually talk to you to initiate that combat. That's interesting, but okay. Okay, here's Ekans, which we can stay in using Evan with. Let's go ahead and get this Ember off. Ooh, nice burn. Poison Sting coming out, and we did not get poisoned, which is good. Let's then go ahead and bite. Awesome. And then Sand Shrew coming out, which again, we do not want to stay in for. Uh, but really anyone at this point can handle the Sand Shrew. So let's go ahead and, you know what, let's switch into Peter. A slash, even if it crits, it's not going to do a whole lot. Let's go ahead and Horn Attack here, which should deal mm, not terrible. It did a, a round half. Come on, Peter. Hit your Horn Attack. Thank you. That's all I needed from you. There comes a Slash again, which again, it crits, because why wouldn't it? Scratch, I'm not going to do nearly as much. There's a Poison Sting. Peter gaining some nice experience along with uh, other team members. Let's go ahead and pivot over to Jake. Just to have somebody healthy in the mix. Rap is going to do next to nothing here. That crit and it did one damage. That's actually pitiful. All right, this is going to go on for a minute. So let's go ahead and uh, use a Mega Punch. And then if we tackle here, that should be enough to get rid of it. Bite's not going to do hardly anything here. Except for make me flinch, which I'm not appreciative of at all. Thank you. Oh, you lived through one more of those. And then Rap's going to deal again fairly minimal damage again crits and only deals one damage that's just hysterical to me all right let's wrap this up and uh let us get our tackle strike in there and thank you for not flinching jake i appreciate that okay we have defeated the rocket grunts that door is now open, but before we do anything with that, I need to make sure that my team is healthy. And that will be about the last thing that we do, is confront Giovanni down here in the basement. Okay, here is Giovanni. Let's uh, get into it. He's got a lot of ground types, I believe, still. Uh, Onyx, rock type starting off. Uh, we're leading with Evan, which is not great, particularly. Uh, so let's go ahead and pivot over to Vipra. Rock throw. Shouldn't do anything too major. We're going to go ahead and dig. That gets around the screech, and that should be... Oh, it wasn't a one-shot. I was expecting it to. Let's go ahead and dig again. And there is uh, the downfall of the Onyx there. Evan growing to level 28. That's always good to see. Vipra not quite at that same level. Let's dig again here against the Rhyhorn. Horn attack's going to miss. Let's hit that dig. Awesome there. And of course it guards specs. Let's now go ahead and get a bite. Flinch. That's good. That's a critical hit. And Horn Attack is going to do trivial damage there as we get through the remainder of Rhyhorn's health. Vipra up at level 28 now as well. Always good to see. Now let's go ahead and hit another dig here. That's really not good. Um, that it locks into Rage here. Of course it guards Specs. Doesn't hit me. But now its rage is built twice. 
Please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Okay, we're still good. Actually, by not hitting it every turn, we should be able to mitigate a lot of this rage damage. Ooh, that was closer than I wanted it to be. But the Kangaskhan is going down to that final dig. And, oh, that was a lot closer than I ever needed or wanted that fight to be. All right, you're gone. You've left behind the Sylph Scope, but I need to make room for the item. Um, anything else that I can use here? I think... Uh, I don't, I don't, I really, I really don't want to use this rare candy. But if I were to use it on someone, no, I just, I can't bring myself to do it right now. Um, let's go ahead and use two potions here. I mean, sure, it's not the wisest thing to do, but I'm not using potions mid-battle. So, that's fine. We're going to make our way up to... Actually, instead of walking out of here, we're just going to dig out of here. Because that'll be quickest. We're going to store a lot of these items that are not currently doing us any good in our PC. And... Although we didn't do any... Uh, gyms today we made some pretty good story progression so I'm going to actually um, call this an episode here I believe thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed today's video make sure that you leave a like don't forget to subscribe for more of that daily variety content and I hope to see you in the next video take care and have a fantastic rest of your day